Just in nature, New England is seeing a spike in the number of tornadoes touching down this year, rising above at least one state in the heart of Tornado Alley. Never thought we'd hear this. So Western Mass News reporter Maggie Lowmiller crunches some of the numbers. It's definitely something I get nervous about whenever there's a tornado watch or anything. A threatening force of nature, tornadoes. Typically, we don't see that many tornado warnings issued in a, in a given year. But the Western Mass News first warning weather team says the region is rising above the yearly average of eight. The technology has just gotten better over the years. Uh, we're certainly able to see uh, what we would call a hook echo or we look at rotation in a velocity scan. Um, and it's certainly easier for us to see a, the potential for a, a storm to produce a tornado. Just this week, two tornadoes touched down in Connecticut, bringing their total to eight. Massachusetts has seen three this year, the same as New Hampshire, bringing a grand total of 14 here in New England, rising above Oklahoma with just 13. They typically see uh, numerous tornadoes in a given season. Several tornadoes have left a scar on western Massachusetts, including the 2011 storm that left a path of devastation in the Pioneer Valley. And it started getting really cloudy and the sky looked very ominous. Josie Crouch remembers that day like it was yesterday. We heard the freight train sound, like the giant roar, and then it like only lasted a few seconds, but it was terrifying. Years later, you can still see the damage left behind by the 2011 tornado. Here at the old Brookings School, there was extensive damage. It lives in the pages of history. Following the natural chaos, a future was carved out for Crouch. I became very interested in just figuring out what to look for so I'd be prepared if something were to ever happen again. This year, Crouch graduated with a degree in meteorology. Tornadoes like the one that touched down in 2011 have the potential to leave widespread destruction. She wants to help make sure everyone is prepared. It definitely concerns me just having lived through that. I won't, don't want anyone else to have to go through the devastation. I'm Maggie Lowmiller, Western Mass News.